Aloha, my name is Kyoki Kahumoku and I'm the Executive Director for the Center for Hawaiian Music Studies here on the Big Island of Hawaii. I was so interested in the music and seeing the excitement that people get from it, I decided to have workshops that so would bring people together, but not only to share music, but also to share all the different things that we grew up doing here on the islands for our island lifestyle. I always like learning and I figured the, what's the best way to learn? Well you bring about some of the best instructors from all across in their genre with um, whether it's slacky or ukulele or singing or Hawaiian language or you know just things that are so important that kind of been lost or placed on the wayside. So I kind of made it our mission myself and my ohana to bring about all of these musicians, teachers and friends, ohana, family and we invite people from all across the country to come and spend about a week with us here on the Big Island every year. These people are passionate about Hawaiian music and they're here because they want to be and because they're hungry to learn about it. And the instructors are all so open and generous with their knowledge. All of us are basically leaving our own families to be here. And um, of course, Learning the music part is important, but I, I think what's special to me is that you become like family. Well, it's, it's really cool to see that that people understand now the importance of passing on what they know and not just holding it to themselves and taking it with them. What's good about this is when I was growing up, we didn't have this kind of privileges. It was oh. You're too slow, you're too dumb, oh I don't have time for you, but now that we take time for the children, then these children will learn to take time for other children. And now we're starting to see, after, over these years, we're seeing the, the haumana starting to take a step forward. They started to share their talents and coming out and we see, every year we see this increase in their, in their playing and also in their, how oh, they're growing up so quickly. With the adults being exposed to that, I think it's really encouraging for all of us to continue to start, continue to keep learning. Just amazed to see the, the returning students. It's amazing. We, you know, we, I watch them grow. Um, you know, as, as individuals as well as in the music. I mean, they went from not knowing anything. Like now, it, it's, it's amazing how much um, you know it is still in them or you give them the opportunity to learn. And they, they just soak it all up and you know it's amazing to see the transformation. Every year for the past three years we've been having this workshop here in Kalu and it seems that right on the day of the concert we always get this blessing of rain and funny enough it's been drought here in Kalu while well, all of a sudden here comes the Ua to bless us again with that kind of atmosphere and you get everybody coming together you know later in the year towards winter time the chilliness of the hua, we all have to huddle together inside of the hale. So when I play our music, it warms all of us from the inside out. Yeah. You know, I'm really thankful and grateful that um, Hawaiian music is flourishing and that we're not just perpetuating it, but we're being creative and constantly moving it forward. That's a good thing. Now that we get the chance to Know, to give back and let you know and help the next generation you know, you know we, we, we feel really proud that we're living in good hands. Kyoki and Nadine have a vision and they have the heart to give and they care a lot about the, um, the people of Hawaii and they care about the keiki, the children and I think um, it's very positive for people to get involved and to support this because some schools do not have a music program. They don't have enough money to afford instruments. And, uh, this is something for them. And that's what it, it's all about, you know, sharing and seeing all the beauty and the goodness that comes out of it. Who could ask for anything more?